When Methodists within a geographic area gather together every year at annual conference, one of the events that has to happen is always the setting of appointments. You see, among churches with married clergy, Methodist churches are a little strange because we follow the tradition of not having our churches hire their own pastors. Rather, pastors are assigned to each church by our bishop. At annual conference, the bishop sets each appointment for a year. We call this system itinerancy. I'm Reverend Ian Collier, and this is Two Minute Methodism. Itinerancy in Methodism has its roots in the very beginning of the movement. Early Methodist preachers were called circuit riders, and they traveled on horseback to preach at all the small group meetings in an area. Back then, a circuit rider might not even know where he would be preaching for the year until it was announced at annual conference. As Methodism grew, Methodists eventually wanted to have their own clergy in their own town. So circuit riders morphed into more traditional pastors. But the tradition of being sent by the bishop to a parish every year remains. Although most of the time we don't go to a new church each year anymore. As with any system, itinerancy has its pros and its cons. It's always hard to say goodbye to a pastor when they get reassigned, and moving around every few years is never easy for clergy families. But on the other hand, bishops are able to give churches pastors with the gifts and skills that the church needs at that moment. And pastors are always forced to have one eye on the health of the whole church, and not to forget that we are a connected community of faith. Through itinerancy, clergy are able to serve each local parish and the needs of the whole church.